Philippine Politics and Governance, Lesson 5, Historical Background of Philippine Democratic Politics. This will be in three parts. This is part one. Heron Stories Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Early pre-colonial political structure First communities These are the first Filipinos living in the Philippines They are inter-island trade and seafaring Growth and expansion of the first barangays Ancient communities were situated on riverbanks and close to the sea They are dependent on maritime travel and livelihoods are based on the bodies of water such as the seas and the rivers. They are land-based communities, they are nomadic and live by hunting animals and gathering plants. This is a Balangay. Balangay is a sea craft headed by a Datu from Borneo. It is the etymology of the word Barangay. Barangay System Barangay is a basic political unit that existed throughout the Philippine Islands prior to the 1400s. It is an independent political entity which exercised authority over several communities within the defined territory. It interacts with other communities, established political military alliances for mutual protection and support. Before, a Datu leads the barangay. They rose to the position either by birth or by valor, and also feats achieved during war. In the zone, they are called chieftain, such as the Kingdom of Manila and then Kingdom of Tondo. For Visayas, Datu is not only individual but an entire class that includes relatives and friends of the chieftain. In Mindanao, from 1400s onward, Different communities in Sulu and Maguindanao were organizing themselves into sultanates. Sultanate of Sulu and Maguindanao achieved political unity and stability that established strong diplomatic relations with other Asian communities and successfully resist the Spanish conquest. Other terms of Datu are Lacan and Raja. The political structure the one that is the leader of the sultanates is called the sultan. Datu administers the barangay in his domain. He is part of the council called Ruma Bichara. He provides counsel to the sultan. Panglima is the council that includes the aristocrats. Other officials of Ruma Bichara. We have the Wahir, which are the advisors. We have Brahalaut, the leader of the maritime forces, and Kadi, the magistrate or the power of a judge. The legitimacy was based on blood and religious ties. Governance was defined by religious traditions and Sharia law. Spanish colonialism in the Philippines. Colonialism is an economic and political ideology that influenced the European Kingdom to embark on voyages of exploration and conquest. It is based on power, on the number of territories it conquers and colonies it established. The three reasons of Spain colonialization is, is the three G's. We have God, which preach Christianity or the Catholicism gold finding riches and glory finding fame as the leading discoverer let's go with philippine history on september 20 1519 portuguese explorer ferdinand magellan set sail from spain in an effort to find the western sea route to the rich spice island of Molokos, which is now indonesia magellan commanded five ships and 270 men. Five ships of Magellan. We have Trinidad. This is the ship of Magellan. We have Concepcion, Santiago, Victoria, and San Antonio. Yung ginagamit namin dito na acronym is Trico Savisan. 
On March 1521, Magellan's fleet then sailed on to the Philippine archipelago landing on the islands of Cebu. Magellan met with the chief of Cebu who after converting to Christianity. After several weeks in the Philippines, Magellan had converted as many as 2,200 locals to Christianity, including Raja Humabon of Cebu and most leaders of the islands around Cebu. This is a picture of the baptism of Prina Juana, who is the wife of Raja Humabon. However, Lapu-Lapu, the leader of Mactan, resisted conversion. On April 21, in the battle against Lapu-Lapu's troops, Magellan was hit by a poisoned bamboo arrow and left to die by his retreating comrades. The ships Trinidad and Victoria returned to Spain with only 18 men. The Victoria was commanded by navigator Juan Sebastián de Elcano, who took charge of the vessel after the murder of Magellan. Remember these names? Ferdinand Magellan, he is the first to circumnavigate the world in 1521. Juan Sebastián de Elcano, the man who completed the first navigation of the world. Kasi nga, hindi na nakabalik si Ferdinand Magellan. Then we have Antonio Pigafetta. He recorded the expedition. And Enrique. He is a Malay slave translator who is native to the spice island Molokas or Indonesia. The Expeditions Magellan Expedition 1521 this is the most important voyages in all of history. He proved that the world is round. Number two is Loaiza Expedition 1523. This was headed by Garcia Joffre de Loaiza with Sebastian Elcano. They sailed off on July 24, 1525. It is the second circumnavigation of the world. A hurricane separated the ships in 1526. Loaiza died on July 30, 1536, and Elcano died a few days later. Third one is the Saavedra Expedition 1527. This was headed by Alvaro de Saavedra Ceron. Sailed off on October 31, 1527 with three ships, Espiritu Santo, Santiago, and Florido. They sailed to rescue the survivors from previous expedition and finding the ship Trinidad. This was ordered by King Charles V. It discovered the Marshall Islands and Admiralty Islands of New Guinea. They could not return to Spain due to monsoon winds and they surrendered to Portuguese in Malacas. The fourth one is the Villalobos Expedition 1542. This was headed by Roy Lopez de Villalobos. Sailed off to Islas del Poniente or the Islands of the West which is the Philippines on November 1, 1542. He had six ships. They reached Mindanao on February 2, 1543. They met the natives with hostilities, called the islands Las Islas Filipinas from the Crown Prince of Spain, Prince Philip II. They established a colony in Sarangani but could not stay longer because of insufficient food supply. He died on April 4, 1544 on a tropical fever in a prison cell in Amboyna in Malacas. The last one is Legaspi or Doneta Expedition in 1542. This was the Spanish colonial government in the Philippines. This was headed by Miguel Lopez de Legaspi with Fray Andres de Ordoneta who is the navigator. The Legaspi was considered as Adelantado or the first Spanish conquistador in the Philippines. They landed in Cebu on February 13, 1565, then proceeded to Leyte and Camiguin. They had blood compact with Dato Sikatuna and obtained spices and gold in Bohol. They returned to Cebu on April 27, 1565, destroyed Rahatupas' town and established a settlement. 
The first one is Villa del Santísimo Nombre de Jesús, which is the town of the most holy name of Jesus, and Villa de San Miguel, which is St. Michael's town. They had blood compact with Rahatupas, the first Philippine Peace Treaty, in June 4, 1565. And under a peace agreement, Cebu recognized the Spanish government, which in return would protect Cebu in times of war. The church and the convent on Santo Niño was the first Roman Catholic church in the Philippines, was built in Cebu by Reverend Father Andres de Ordaneta, which marked the beginning of Roman Catholicism in the Philippines. The Legazpi was appointed as the first governor and captain general of the Philippines. This is April 27, 1565 to August 20, 1572. He sent Martin de Giotti and Juan de Salcedo to explore the northern region. Martin de Giotti and Juan de Salcedo arrived in Manila on May 8, 1570 and signed the Black Compact with Raja Sulaiman III and later with Raja Lacundula. On June 24, on the same year, the Legazpi established a settlement there and ordered the construction of Intramuros. Intramuros was the capital and the seat of Spanish government in the East Indies. June 24, 1571, Manila became the capital of the Philippines, which is now celebrated as Manila Day. For your information, the Philippines was colonized for 333 years, 1565 to 1898. The Governor General is the representative of the King of Spain. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi was the first ge Governor General and Diego de los Rios was the last Governor General. Governor General Narciso Cleveria for new calendar and the use of surname. Governor General Pola Vieja, he was the one who executed Dr. Jose Rizal. Governor General Carlos Maria de la Torre, he is the Liberal Governor General. Governor General Jose Basco, Tabaco Monopoly. Spanish colonization established reduction. Reduction is the relocation of local inhabitants into towns or pueblos. Pueblos are the large barangays, while the towns are the smaller barangays, which we have now. Ito itsura ng reduction. Karamihan dito makikita sa mga probinsya natin kung saan merong plaza. Sa plaza na yan, makikita ang local churches kung saan malapit mga simbahan, andyan din ang malapit na eskwelahan, and also the municipal hall, sa so, iba naman city hall. At napapalibutan dito ng mga bahay ng mga nobles. Yung noble class are the educated upper class led by the gobernador Silio. The conquered territories were divided into districts called the encomiendas. These are land given to conquistadores rented by Filipinos. These lands are distributed among Spaniards who acted as feudal lords called encomiendero. Encomiendero is tasked to establish a political authority, administer and improve the local economy, promote education and convert people to Catholicism. Alcaldias are provinces administered by the provincial governor called Alcalde Mayor. Alcalde Mayor directed the executive, judicial, and legislative aspects of governance in the province and has authority over Gobernador Silio. Gobernador Silio ruled the towns in his province. Corregimientos is a military province not yet pacified led by a corregidor or a military governor who is in charge of collecting tax and disciplining ineffective public officials. Cabezas de Barangay is the chief of the barangay. He is tasked to collect tributes from the people. He is exempted from polo y servicio. Principalia is the local leader in pueblos and barangay who are noble class. So this is the structure 
On top, we have the Alcalde Mayor. Below him, we have the Gobernador Silio. And below that, the Capesas de Barangay. And then, yung pinakababa, the Principales or the Principalia. Ayuntamiento is a special administrative city like Manila where majority of the Spanish officials are located. The Polo y Servicio is a forced labor of all Filipino men whose ages are 16 to 60 years old for 40 days. They build roads, bridges, buildings, churches, and other projects. Falia is a payment to be exempted from Polo y Servicio and the Polista are the men doing the Polo y Servicio. The money that they pay is reales. The Governor General is the highest and the most powerful official of the Spanish colonial government in the Philippines. He is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military Forces, Governor and Captain General of the Philippines. He is appointed by the King of Spain and acts as his representative in the country. He has an executive and judicial power. He is in charge of the Royal Audiencia, which is the judiciary body, and the power to assign officials to various government positions. has the power of Vice Real Patron, or the power to appoint the priest to parishes throughout the Philippines. This real patron became the source of contention with the Catholic Church. It brought conflict between the Governor General and the Archbishop of Manila. Archbishop of Manila was the highest church official in the Philippines. For legislative body, laws were made by the King of Spain called Recopilacion de las Leyes de los Reinos de las Indias which is the compilation of laws applicable to the various Spanish colonies throughout the world. The power of complace, which is the governor general could suspend or ignore the unimposed law by the crown if he reconsidered them inapplicable to the Philippines. Inspection of Governor General Visita is an unannounced inspection from the Spanish government. Residencia is the review of his action in government at the end of his term as Governor General. Five types of social classes in the Philippines during the Spanish colonization. The first one is the Peninsulares, which are the pure Spanish born in Spain. Insulares are the pure Spanish born in the Philippines. Riole are the half Spanish, half Indio or Chinese. Principalia are the rich Filipinos and then the Indio is the pure Filipinos. That's the part 1 of lesson 5 of historical background of the Philippines. So watch out for part 2 and also part 3. So if you like my video, so please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe and hit the notification bell. Again, this was based on the curriculum guide given by the Department of Education. Thanks for watching.